YouTube, 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 Facebook, what's up? No music. No music. Hey. Hey. What's up? How y'all doing today? Y'all know what time it is. It's about that time to dollar cost average. I like to dollar cost average around this time frame. Around 11, maybe 15 minutes before, 15 minutes after, or maybe even on 11. There's something special about 11 o'clock and 2 p.m. I can't explain it to you, but over time, you'll catch it. Let's see if I can maybe show you real fast. Sometimes, when you have multiple stocks and you click on them, you will see that some of them will be like in the same position. Now, watch that one. Okay, you see that? Now let's see if we catch another pattern. Oh. Hmm. 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 Do y'all see? Do y'all see? Do, do y'all? Not that one. Do y'all see something? Y'all see what them line? Y'all see what the line was in all of them, except for that one. All right. So that's two. That wasn't the line at the bottom. Three. So that's three out of. That's three out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out of eight positions, right? You guys just saw that. Out of eight positions, five of them, the line was at the bottom at this time, all right? Now, let's go down here real fast. I'm going to do this fast, all right? Look where the lines are. Look where the lines are, everybody, look. Okay? Now, if you didn't catch that, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. What I'm about to do right now, y'all like, y'all already see, I got my daily percent change. I go to the ones that are more down, okay? So, the one that's the most down right now for today is Primerica and my portfolio. And my portfolio out of all the positions, the one that the one that is the most down is Primerica. See, and this is why I like the way Cash App sets it up for you. It does all the like science work and stuff, if you know what I mean, right? Look, it puts it puts it in order for you, like alphabetical order. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead with Primerica because it's starting to bounce, as you can see, right? Let's see what time is that. Oh, look, it's around eleven. Okay. Something special happens at 11 o'clock in the stock market and at 2 p.m. Okay, pay attention now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're gonna go light with this. this is a, they, they move very slow, all right? They're very slow movers. So I'm only going to pull out dollar fifty. But they were like, you know, very slow movers. Just going to go in profit. Wait, just to go in profit. To be like, you know, 5% or something. Nothing, nothing crazy. All right. So again, this is why I like this setup of Cash App. You could do this all day long. Not all day, but you know what I mean. You could just like plan this. I don't even know how to put it into words. It's just, it's just something. It's one of those things where, like, like I told you guys, when you're doing this over and 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 over, certain things just like pop up to you. You understand? It's like it's there all the time. It's been there. You just don't see it because you don't know of it yet. If you understand what I'm trying to say, right? And see what I like about Tesla. Tesla has so much movement in it. That you can have, you can have a, a small investment in it, and you're gonna see some changes, some changes in profits, because it moves so, so like rapidly right now. I remember I was doing Team Tesla. I wish I was still doing Team Tesla when they had all that movement going on. All right, these guys got a read coming up. I'm gonna have these folks guys for a while, so it don't matter, really matter how much. Once I get this um around a thousand and stuff, you know, then I'm gonna have less positions. The reason why I have so many positions right now because I is the uh, diversified. 
It's good diversification. It's good to have good diversification because your, your investment is safe. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, you know, if two stocks are messing up, it really don't matter because the other guys are helping them out. All right? Although the stocks in a portfolio work individually, I like this line better. Although they work individually, on a platform, they will bunch them up, you know, and you could kind of say it's like a portfolio. So, why do you add when it's down? All right. I mean, I'll give you an example so you can see. All right. So, this one was the most down for today, right? So, right now, you're looking at the day. For the day, it's down. So, one, one somebody, with, you know, just new to trading, they would be like, oh, that's going down. Uh-uh. I ain't messing with that one. I ain't messing with that one. You're going to lose your money. Look, it's going down. But somebody with the knowledge I have... I get happy when I see that. Especially it's a good company. They're going to be around for a while. They got good history. They they going down. I get happy. I do the opposite of what some might do. I, I go, yes. Look. Primerica went down. It's on sale. Okay. Now what I mean by it's on sale. All right. We at the weekly chart. At the present day. Right. We at the present day today. You go over here, Tuesday, right? This is going to be the highest point, right? It was 139. Right now, it's 133. So, we're going to say it's on sale, right? Of 3%. <laughs> Save 3%. You buy Primerica right now as opposed to a Tuesday, all right? Did I add the fifty already? Yeah. Right. And remember also what I said, okay? If you look at the other videos, you'll see whatever positions at the bottom, they don't stay there. So when I noticed this, right? Because I didn't notice it at first, but I noticed that, wait a minute. It's a chale. I said, what's up? It's a chale. The stocks that be at the bottom, don't not, they don't stay in the same place. What do you mean? Where did they go? They go somewhere else in the list. <laughs> So what does that mean, chale? Chale. <laughs> when it's all the way at the bottom and you add to it, it's gonna jump somewhere else in this list. It don't matter where it's gonna jump in the list, but it ain't gonna be at the bottom no more, baby boy. You understand that? So you those little things right there, like ching ching, oh, too easy. And when you do that, you hardly will ever see your portfolio go into negative. Oh, you just wear it like that. Uh, all right. So we got 219 invested, 100 grow a small account. I'm not going to add no more because the goal here, my goal, is to let the computer do the adding the money. I'm going to add some a little bit, but I want the computer to add the rest. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, how I got 219 invested, and I hate having like a 19. Like, like, I got to be, uh, we need that to be like a 20. So who needs some uh, who needs some loving? And now I'm gonna tell you another thing too. All right, like these guys here, like I'm a I'm a <clears throat> I'm gonna add to this position right now, and I'm gonna tell you why. Even though it's at its high, right? These guys ain't these guys are booming. All right, you see what they did last year? They might do half of that this year. Okay. So go ahead, put two dollars in there. Cause I don't really like numbers that be like even those one. Uh, let's see. Just a mental thing for me. Excuse me. So some might think they be messing up on purpose so you could get discouraged. <laughs> Of 
All right. What up, Bitcoin doing? Bitcoin got some consolidation going on right now. And then they're going to think, if you ask me, then they're going to resume the uptrend. 80%. When I see this, sometimes when you trade in, you know, you're going to do this. You're gonna, through your time of trading, it's going to happen to you. You're going to be in a position, and then you give up on that position. And then that position, boom. And you're going to be feeling sick in your stomach. <laughs> because I had, I was doing big, I was, oh, man. Let me see if I go, was the last time I had, like, some. $183. Well, you just look at the overall. Overall, I purchased $1,000 and 30, 1035 okay? And I sold, and I sold that. I got lost for like $7, all right? But this is over time. Like, it's not like one play. So, you know, I just got like kind of annoyed with Bitcoin. But when I look at this, eh, 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 80%. Go for the year. This is the future, though. Right now, I have $11 in Bitcoin. So when that position gets above 11 and maybe 12 on the sell. Then I'm gonna jump back in and, and repeat the process. All right. Those of you who are not involved in Bitcoin, just do your research. something real fast for you guys let's go over um up trends all right let's go over downtrend like uh, this is a pretty nice one all right so looking at the monthly chart if you look at the monthly chart at a glance when we look at this right here we have consolidation okay although you see the line going up and down right you see the line going up and down? It's not doing this. That's an uptrend. All right? That's an uptrend. You see it like, you know, like it's doing here? It's not really that much movement. And it's, as you can see, the line is going, sideways, it's going sideways. Right? We like to call that sideways. Also, consolidation. Consolidation, you still can make moves with consolidation plays, but as you can see, your wiggle room is very small, right? The wiggle room is very small. When you have this here, when you see consolidation, Followed by something like this. It's like a gap down. Right? A sharp drop. Right? When you see that, two things happen after that. Right? You see a stock go like that. Two things happen after that. You're going to get some consolidation. Or you're going to get an uptrend that follows. On a good company. All right. Remember the example I gave you guys before. Continue on the cliff. You fall off. 
up here is like some force. It's going to pull your ass back up. That's the behavior of the stock. Okay. That's the behavior of, of, of patterns of stock. Gap down. Uptrend. Gap up. Downtrend. Now, it don't always happen that way 10 times out of 10. But more than a little bit, it happens that way. So when you see something like this on a good stock, good company, oh, they just, look, they just had to drop. It's on sale. It's on sale. Wow. Now, this company moves kind of slow, but they move. All right. Look at the overall. This is where the company tells a story on who they are. They're like, listen, guys, we came out in, uh, over here. We was at $17, and we over here. We did that matter of about 11 years. So that's not really that. They don't move fast, but they move this company here. All right. Let's look at a different company. Look at their patterns. All right. We already know what's going on with American Airlines. And that was going on with that. But when you look at the year, you see they're down 44%. Not much movement in the line. Like a slight downtrend. You know, very slight over the past month. You look at the week. That number is lower than that, than the monthly. You look at the day. Those numbers are lower. What does that mean? Ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow, next week, they will be upgraded. <laughs> See how easy this gets? Tesla. Then we got to look at Tesla. Tesla, you already know what's over Tesla. All right, so I'm going to do more of that every time I do a video. We're going to draw lines and stuff it says. Because once you, once you see it, once you understand the line part, you really could just look at this. You really could just look at any stock and... Make your plan real quick because you can see it like you understand these numbers over here, what this mean, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, with Sean Wiggins, BFC, until the next video, one more quick thing. When you have multiple positions, your percentage would be looking nice, but it could be looking nicer. What I mean by that? You see, I have a position that's probably up, it was up 7%, but why does it say 2%? Because one position could be up 7. Like, look. One position could be up 6, 2, all of that. But then now when you go to these ones, these numbers here, the, the negative ones, when you add them up, then you will minus it from the total of these ones, and that would give you that number. See what I see what I said about how this, this stuff is like mathematical equations. That's all. And when you get it, you got it. Peace.